Don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Welcome back to Sahara Football. As usual, I am your host, Selassie Pioi. Today, I've got some pieces of information for you. I'm sure you've heard about Marcus Rashford. He has been trending for a while now. I'm going to explain to you why that trend and the amazing work he is using his platform, social media platform, to do for the people and children in the United Kingdom. He has gone through this kind of thing before and he doesn't want kids who, because the government will curtail the free meals for them in the summer holidays he doesn't want them to go hungry and he feels that he has gone through such a thing before it wasn't pleasant for him and his family when he was going through that so he's using his platform to create this awareness and to help make sure that the government in the United Kingdom extends help to kids beyond the summer holidays he has been successful at that I'll be telling you how he started this campaign and his reasons for doing that so we'll be talking about uh, coach Kwesia Pia yes his story has come up once again this time at the BBC it's quite extreme but coach Kwesia Pia essentially is saying that he hasn't been paid for 11 months we were meant to believe that he had been paid in this previous few months he has not been paid for 11 months that's according to coach Kwesia Pia according to him this is prejudice behavior because Avram Grant who was a former coach of the Black Stars was owed for just one month before everything was settled and paid him so he doesn't understand why this behavior he spoke to the bbc i'll be revealing to you exactly what he told the bbc also we'll be talking about the return of the english premier league tonight games will be played and we will have games back in europe fully all corners of europe except for the french league which has been cancelled if you're new to the channel i'll advise you to subscribe to the channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates so without much ado let me just uh, jump right into it i'll start off from the camp of marcus rashford a manchester united player 22 years of age and he is doing amazing things in the world aside football he is an amazing human being and he has proved it here once again marcus rashford has ensured that the government of the united kingdom extend free food through vouchers to kids who are not from privileged families for families that can afford to feed their kids throughout the day during this pandemic when so many people are handicapped with that now during the school days kids in the united kingdom are giving free meals but with schools shut down those free meals were not forthcoming the united kingdom decided that during these times they would give the kids free food as usual but it would not extend into the holidays in the summer marcus rashford who has been someone who has gone through such a situation like this when he was growing up he joined the manchester united academy at the age of 11 years because of struggles his mother a single mother with five kids had with providing food for them he joined the academy and he was privileged enough to turn out to be a footballer who earns a lot of money and can take care of his family but he knows how it is and basically this is how the issue started when schools were shut down in march a food voucher scheme was set up to help ensure vulnerable children do not go hungry now vouchers were worth 15 pounds were sent to families that needed them but were due to come to an end when the term finished until marcus rashford stepped in in a letter to government the, Gap, the England International recalled his own experiences of having to rely on free school meals and food banks when he was a child growing up in Manchester and in a series of tweets on Tuesday morning, the 22-year-old urged MPs to put politics to one side and reverse the decision. He wrote, when you wake up in the morning and run your shower, take a second to think about parents who have had their water turned off during the lockdown. When you turn on your kettle to make a cup of coffee or tea, think of those parents who had to default on electricity bill payments just to make ends meet, having lost their jobs during the pandemic. And when you head to the fridge to grab the milk, stop and recognize that parents of at least 200,000 kids across the country this morning are waking up to an empty shelving. Recognize children around the country are this morning innocently questioning why. 9 out of 30 children in any given classroom are today asking why. Why does our future not matter? And announcing the decision to take change the tack, the Prime Minister official spokesperson said on Tuesday, 
owing to the coronavirus pandemic, the Prime Minister fully understands that children and parents face an entirely unprecedented situation over the summer. To reflect this, we will be providing a COVID summer food fund. This will provide food vouchers over the six-week holidays in the summer. This is a specific measure to reflect the unique circumstances of the pandemic. The scheme will not continue beyond the summer. So Marcus Rashford did amazing work by him. He has gotten them to reverse their decision. And it's quite interesting that they wanted to cancel this. And we all know the situation we are in with the COVID-19 ravaging and putting people's job into jeopardy. So many people are out of work because of COVID-19. And the UK government have recognized owing to Marcus Rashford's campaign. He led this campaign for a lengthy period, I think across a week. And he has now gotten them to reverse the decision they were going to take in not providing food for kids beyond the summer holidays. And I'm happy that I know this guy. He's an amazing human being. Shown it here with this amazing work he has done. Marcus Rashford, kudos to you. But in the United Kingdom, something you guys might not know is that in England, 1.3 million children from low-income backgrounds are eligible for free food meals. To qualify, their household must earn a minimum income of £7,400 a year after tax, not including any benefit. Children from families who meet certain criteria can also be eligible for free food meals before they start the school. So this is how it is in the UK and Marcus Rashford, kudos to him for getting them to change, take a U-turn on their decision. I am really happy that he has been able to do this. Kudos to him. Kudos to the government of England for considering this and also for changing their decision. I move on to my next story it has to do with Coach Kwesiapia. I am sounding like a broken record on this news and Coach Kwesiapia is once again in the news. This time he went to the BBC. He has said that he has been old for 11 months and it doesn't make sense. He feels it is prejudiced behavior. Avram Grant, who was the former coach of the Ghana Black Stars, was old for just one month before everything was settled him. All Coach Kwesiapia wants is his money. Despite meeting the accountant of the Ghana Football Association and the Ghana Sports Ministry, he has not come out a satisfied person. Also, the sports minister emphatically stated that he will be sorted out despite not giving a timeline for when that would be. I think Coach Kwesiapia is not a happy bunny. Going to the BBC with this kind of information would mean that he is not happy and something needs to be done urgently. Now, Ghana Black Stars coach Kwesiapia in an interview with the BBC has blamed prejudice for his salary delay. Now, the former coach has said that he treated in a way no white coach in Africa would be treated as he weighs arrears totaling nearly two hundred thousand dollars from his time in charge of the Ghana Black Stars. I was owed money since August 2019 when there was no COVID, he told BBC because that's what the government of Ghana were blaming. COVID was the reason why he had not been paid. Would they owe a white coach for 11 months? The 59 year old has previously said he feels disrespected by the way his case is being handled. Says he's he, he is owed $185,000, most of which covers five months on paid salary. My predecessor, he said, Avram Grant, was not owed more than a month when his contract ended, Apia explained. The reason the Israeli who led the Black Stars from 2014 to 2017 was not paid at the time was because he had yet to file a report on the 2017 African Cup of Nations, but his arrears were swiftly settled once he did. In recent times, some white coaches in Africa, such as Nigeria's Kenneth Raw, has not been paid, while others, such as Pastuana's Adel Amorechi, who holds both Algerian and Belgian citizenship, is still awaiting payment from an old job. Apia simply wants the practice of late payments to end. It's not right and should not be encouraged, irrespective of whether the coach is local or foreign. BBC Sports Africa understands that it is not just a peer waiting salary for his role in Ghana, but the country's national youth team coaches as well. Both the under-17 and under-23 coaches declined to comment, but under-20 coach Karim Zito confirmed that he is owed 
Mani. Zito, a former international, was first drafted into the coaching setup of Ghana's youth teams in 2013. This is what he said. We had only collected our salaries for three months when we received a letter stating that we will no longer be paid. No reason was given, he told BBC. That is Karim Zito. I was appointed as coach of the under-20 national team in January this year, but I am being old. I will attribute the failure to pay our salaries to the coronavirus pandemic. So the salary of the head coach of the Black Stars has always been paid through sponsorship package and it is unfortunate that it has now dragged into a period of the coronavirus pandemic that's according to the Kofi Asari of the BBC. So coach Kwesiabia is plainly simply asking for his monies and the excuses that it is the coronavirus pandemic that has caused it since August 2019 he has been good guys I think <laughs> we need to do better give better excuses than this and I think coach Kwesiabia really is not a happy bunny despite the assurances from the sports minister it is clear that coach Kwesiabia does not like what is happening and he is seeking recourse to get his money paid speaking to the bbc on such a high platform like this i think they will get the attention of the sports ministry to get his money paid what do you think about it was he right to speak to the bbc concerning this should he have taken other means let me know your thoughts in the comments box that is it there I'm talking about marcus rashford's amazing campaign and winning that campaign to provide food for less privileged children over the summer it will not continue beyond the summer but rashford has gotten them to extend it it was said to end after it was said not to continue through the summer holidays kudos to marcus rashford also we have been talking about coach Pia. he has spoken to the bbc about his unpaid salaries and says he is being prejudiced this is prejudiced behavior your thoughts in the comments bottle the english premier league returns tonight Manchester City vs Arsenal as well as so many amazing fixtures in the coming days. Let me know your thoughts on everything. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day.